just itching my nose. Who's good, Potato Spin Lick here, and uh, camp's finally over. I'll be having some free time. Um, needing a haircut soon. Might get a shave later on. It's time for an additions episode. It's been a while, but I don't want the series to go away. I am loving this, and I love that we can go ahead and talk about things that we'd like to add to a game or things that developers could have done differently. In this case, it's the pre-sequel. It's about time, right? Now, I've covered the first one, I've covered the second one. The pre-sequel is a hard one because it's actually a solid game. Even though 2K Australia never really got to finish it, it went under. Um, there's issues with the meshes, but that's all stuff that would have been worked out over time with the inclusion of DLCs and blah, 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 level cap, blah, 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 OP levels, blah, blah, raid boss, blah, blah, blah. We all get it. You know, you guys have watched me play Borderlands games. Most of you have played yourselves. Most of you are in this, or subscribed to this channel because of my Borderlands streams. And I've been doing a lot of Fortnite. That's probably going to be my next one. But, um... I'm loving Fortnite. Uh, this was a game that actually had a lot of potential. Uh, but it was unable to fully develop because 2K Australia went under. Because of, you know, lack of funding, blah, 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 whatever happened. It's another um, No Man's Sky issue. You know, No Man's Sky is labeled as hot trash because, well, they never actually managed to finish development. Uh, one of the servers got flooded and destroyed a large portion of their code. So instead of random generated worlds, they had to actually go with presets, there are different textures, and blah, 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 blah. It, it's, it's a very lax day for me. You can tell that I'm not really giving many fucks. Um, but no, as far as pre-sequel goes, there's nothing I can add to the core game. That had a lot of interesting things, a lot of interesting mechanics. Um, the biggest thing I could say is that uh, 2K, the company, as well as Gearbox messed up, they should have had uh, more than just 2K Australia involved. Um, in order to prevent this in future, in, uh, in the future, like on uh, future projects, like, uh, let's say, for example, Borderlands 3. It's going to be coming out eventually. We all know what we were all hyped for. It. Um, what they could do, instead of just having one 2K branch in it, have two. They'll cooperate and add codes, you know, simultaneously. That way, if one goes under, or one sees a little check and balance issue, you know, they can, they can go between each other. If one falls, the other company can take over. If they had done this with the pre-sequel, we would have seen more level caps, more loot, Probably, you know, a lot more DLC, a lot of patches, a lot of the issues that kind of fill the game today, they'll never be rectified, would have been fixed. Uh, so, yeah, my additions is actually the company being a little more in-depth with their planning. Um, I mean, what can I say? They're all pretty much the same game, and that's why we love them. Uh, it, all, it pretty much just falls on the company and their decisions on how to go into development. Um, but, yeah, no, 2K, Gearbox... Still awesome game, but in the future, try to have a little windfall. Um, what do you guys think? What do you want to add to this? Is there like a unique gun, a DLC idea, a new character they could have added, something they could have done with the Baroness? I've never seen anyone play her. I might do it myself after I get done with Fortnite, which probably won't happen. Um, like, I'm subscribed. Keep on keeping on. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that kitten video earlier, and I hope you're loving my Fortnite streams. I know I am. See you guys around.